They say it's all in my head, I still feel the pain Every time it's cold and every time it rain Feel like ice water running through my veins Since the day I got hit, I ain't been the same See my dog die, they blew out his brains All on the window, feel that like window pane Had to suck it up and told it to the game Glizzy on my hip, I'm standing on my name I'm a soul Hi, what up people? Yeah, man. I told y'all the day. I'm going to talk about my nigga Noonie, you hear me? God rest the day, you hear me? My nigga Noonie. Y'all probably saw him all, if, if y'all familiar uh, with seeing the Murder Capital little DVD or whatever. My nigga Noonie on that. His real name Garrow Lewis, you hear me? So now. Nah. I mean, Noonie even became cool crazy you hear me because before we got cool we was actually supposed to kill each other on some shit you hear me like i was fucking with uh i was fucking with this chick crystal you hear me and he was fucking with this chick britney he did the chick britney out p-town you hear me and crystal and britney were like they were like best friends or whatever they were friends you hear me and so like this tape back play back right when she stayed i think uh britney had stayed and killing uh Crystal stayed in still stayed. I forgot. I know they stayed in Kenna or whatever like that, you hear me? And uh like I see she used to be fucking with Noon or whatever like that, you hear me? So uh He was in jail. He was in jail at the time, you hear me? And uh I forgot how the shit had went. Some kind of way, you know, nigga go to uh talking and he in jail and he was saying some shit. I think he like asked like who I was in the background or something like that, you hear me? And you know how young nigga, nigga, young nigga, dumb nigga, like who that is asking about me, boy, tell that boy don't ask about me or whatever like that, you hear me? He like, ooh, boy, fuck me and all that, boy, boy, fuck you and shit like that. We go back and forth and all that shit, so nigga like, alright, when, when, when you come home, nigga gonna see what's up and all that shit like that, you hear me? Like, you know, we get into it like that. So now... We never squashed the shit, dude. Like, you heard me? We never squashed the shit. But like I see, she always called the nigga Garrow. You heard me? She always called the nigga Garrow or whatever like that. You heard me? So, it, uh, it go down the line. My, my, my partner, uh, Marcus, he ought to know it. My nigga, another, he ought to know it. You heard me? Like, that, that's his, that, that's the, like, people. Like, Marcus, like, his cousin or whatever. You heard me? But another, like, his partner or whatever. You heard me? And so, uh, One day we go back there in Gretna Park and uh, he like, I want you to meet my nigga Nuna or whatever like that. And so I meet the nigga and we just like, we, 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 you know, we, you know, real nigga, no real nigga and shit like that, you hear me? And so, Nuna never called me Smoke. He always called me my name. He was like, man, what's up, Tremel? And all that shit like that. So, like, uh, he said the name, and then that's when uh, I talk about Crystal. You hear me? When I talk about Crystal, that boy kind of like, oh, love you, hear me? And so he showed me a picture, and I'm like, boy, how you know her? Or whatever. He like, man, uh, for my girl, my baby mama, or whatever. So I'm like, your baby mama. And so I'm like, hold up, bro. You, 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 your name, Gal? Or whatever, he like, yeah. He like, how you know that? I'm like, hold oh, up, son. I'm like, boy, you know who I'm in, yeah, you know I man. And so that's when I like, you know, go to tell him, bitch, this is me who was on that phone and who do I wipe, yeah, you know man. But like, you know, nigga laugh that shit off, yeah, you know man. We 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 up in the shit with nothing. I'm telling him, I'm like, boy, we a boy, we put to kill each other and shit like that. Yeah, boy, we put to get it on and all that shit. So we laugh about that shit. So that's when it clicked in my head again. I'm like, hold up. You say Brittany your baby mama? Oh, Peter? I'm like, man, that's not your baby, son. You hear me? He like, huh? I'm like, man, that's not your baby, son. I'm like, think of what she named the baby. I think she had named the baby James or some shit like that. I forgot what she named it, but she named it after the other dude, Jamal, I think it was. She named it after the dude who the baby was fucked, you hear me? And so, and I'm talking about this nigga got boxes of pampers, boxes of wipes, all kind of shit, you hear me? He was getting it all set. He was like, that was his baby. So I'm putting him on game that that wasn't his baby. So he called Brittany on, he called Brittany and put on speakerphone, you hear me? And so, uh, 
he go straight at her neck. Like, why you name, why you ain't that baby after me or whatever like that? And, uh, shit. So she trying to lie about the shit or whatever. So I just bust it out, man. You know that's not that man, baby, man. Keep it a hundred, you hear me? She got mad as a motherfucker. Like, no, I don't mind your business, dog. That's fucked up. And this, this. That ain't no fucked up. That's fucked up. You, you trying to put that baby on that man and shit, you hear me? And so got that situation that cleared up. And, you know, he found out the truth that that wasn't his baby. And next thing I know, we become like best of friends. We, that's my nigga, you hear me? I'm talking about that's my nigga. We didn't hit licks together, all kind of shit. Like, that's my nigga, you hear me? So, uh, like I'll tell you, uh, one time, I don't know if I told y'all that story, but when we robbed a flea market, you hear me? We robbed a flea market. <laughs> we robbed a flea market, you hear me? That boy Noon had the fucking, uh, the Monte Carlo. It did. The Monte Carlo, the one that looked like a Tudo Lumina, you hear me? If y'all know what I'm talking about, real nigga know what I'm talking about, you hear me? Look, the, the minor call it like a two do lumina, you hear me? It's me, him, two, my nigga Mikey, you hear me? And so we 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 got the flea market, we just trying to hit a score right fast. So a nigga look and we see this motherfucker, that boy instead of putting uh money in the box, but he put the box under the table, you hear me? So my nigga Mikey like he fast, so he gonna go grab it and run. Two supposed to be the driver, you hear me? That bit two ain't on, uh, you know, with all that, but, but two gonna be the driver, you hear me? So fuck, boom, we scope, we get that bit. Ah. But the nigga had a big ass boulder like rock on, on, on top of the box. When that boy tried to snatch it, he like, man, what the fuck? So he had to snatch it again. Like he had to do a double grab, you hear me? But he get that bit. We take our run, we gone. Man, this nigga, uh, Mike, your hat flew back, you hear me? Man, why this nigga, nigga like, leave that hat, fuck that hat, you hear me? Man, that bitch turn around and go get that bitch. So when two see that running to the cop, like, first noon to jump in. But like I see, you know, it's a two dude. So the other two people got to get in the back, you hear me? But noon, real nigga, he jump in the back. So I go to jump in the back, you hear me? Man, why this bitch two start pulling off, you hear me? I'm like, hold up, bitch. Mike is still right there. He running that bitch, running after the car. You hear me? The nigga chased him. Hey, come out, come out. Oh, you hear me? And so, uh, that's when that bitch stopped. Man, why that boy Mike just jumped clean through the window? You hear me? The parents side, he jumped three. He, he jumped clean through the window. You hear me? This bitch too. Pull out. Fool. He hanging all out the window and shit like that. This shit funny as a motherfucker. You hear me? And so, like, this had a Katrina, so they still had the trailers and shit, you hear me? So we pull up by the little trailer or whatever. We count the money up and all that shit like that, you hear me? Get us something to smoke and all that shit like that, you did. Like, that was uh, one of them licks. That was, that was uh, uh, one of them times I had with Noon and, you hear me? But nigga got a lot of more stories with Noon and, you hear me? But coming to his death, dog. That shit fucked me up, you hear me? Cause like he had started, he started hanging around the milk, you hear me? Started fucking with these niggas, he was hanging around the milk, and it was around that time when that shit was getting, it was getting fucked up. And so I, I would be telling him, man, son, stop hanging around that milk, like be cool, be careful with that shit, dog. He like, bitch, you know I'm good, bitch, you hear me? Who the why, why? I'm like, dog, tell him like this, you know. It'd be like, it be like, you know how you, you feel something, but you can't put your finger on it. So you be trying to tell a nigga, but you don't know how to tell a nigga. So all you can tell a nigga, man, just stop hanging around that. Like, you, you don't know, like, to tell him, man, look, stop hanging around that. Somebody gonna, you know, come through and kick it. You, you don't know. You just know, man, it ain't good to hang around that. Like, and he hanging right on MLK. You hear me? Like, one of the hottest spots in America. You hear me? So one night, uh, he out there on Martin Luther King. Chilling with the little dudes or whatever. And the niggas come and spin. You hear me? They come and spin. And they had shot him up. You hear me? And uh, I ain't gonna lie, son. I thought he was gonna pull through because he had went to the hospital and shit. You hear me? I thought he was gonna pull through. But he ain't fucking make it, dog. I'm talking about my nigga ain't make it, dog. That shit fucked me up, son. You hear me? Canoeing it with my little nigga, dog. Like, I, I really fucked it with that bitch, son. And the crazy thing about it, because that bitch was bigger than me, but he was younger than me, you hear me? Like, that was my little nigga, son. 
Like for real, I'm talking about, yeah, I remember one time, I'm gonna tell y'all this shit before I go. We uh back then grabbing the park, you remember? And uh, this nigga D, was it D doing this shit or was it his little brother? You heard me? Cause this nigga D with this old stunner, little red nigga, he stunned a lot. She wanna be down and shit, you heard me? So we had the little red bean. I'm trying to remember if it was him or his little brother. You heard me? Cause I wanna say it was his little brother. But him or his little brother, they pointed the little beam at these little niggas. They got a little click of niggas on the uh, on the, uh, on the other side of the courtyard. I don't know who's familiar with Gretna Pope, but they like. He perned a little red beam on a, on at these niggas on the other side of the courtyard. So them boys were spooking. They running inside shit like man, they don't know what the fuck, you heard man. So when they find out it, you know, it's just a joke, they come over there and try to check the situation, you hear me? And so like a nigga being a real nigga, right, you know, nigga like nigga feel you, you hear me, dude just playing, bro, you know what I'm saying? Don't you know, don't take it like that. But the nigga go to bucking with it like extra hard, like don't fuck play with me ooh, like whoa 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 like you heard me nigga I already said my bad nigga nigga said that dude was wrong you heard me and all that so now you tripping now you heard me like just go ahead like don't tell me go ahead and all this like man look I'm gonna fuck it then what's up then now what you wanna do you heard me man this man D I remember he did that he come out there with the gun now he come out there with the gun like what he got a problem nigga like man Go ahead with all that, cause you nigga know you ain't even much with all that, you hear me? He, you know what I'm saying, they got a problem and all this shit, like, dude, like, man, no, we ain't got no problem, so I'm just saying, don't, don't do that shit, like, nigga told you, nigga, you hear me? Like, what more you want a nigga to do, son? Like, you don't want to kiss your ass, kiss your feet or something, nigga? Nigga told you, nigga, you hear me, dude, fucking all. You hear me? That shit should be a dead issue, so you keep on um, mouthing off and all that shit, so it's gonna turn out bad or whatever, you hear me? So, they take this little half ass on and go about their business finally, you hear me? So, and I'm gonna tell y'all about this. This is the last part of it. This is the last, uh, uh, one more story I'm gonna tell y'all about with me and Nuna. The D, we all go to jail, you hear me? They kicking the door. Gretna kicking the door like, yeah, we were selling weed and shit, so. It's about 3, 4 in the morning, you hear me? Grabbing the kick the door and bloom. And it's crazy because the night before, that boy, uh, Mikey, we telling Mikey, man, come sleep over there. Like, sleep, sleep, sleep over there, whatever. Mikey, like, uh-uh. He was, like, undecided because he was about to rule with Jessica and Jenna and all them, you hear me? They telling him, come with them. They even telling me, Come with them, and I'm like, shit, I'm sticking to this money, you hear me? Nigga about to score in the morning. He like, man, I'm gonna come back tomorrow. That boy, tube leave and everything, you hear me? So, and it was like, good thing they did leave, cause about four o'clock, three, four o'clock in the morning, boom, grab me, hit the door, you hear me? It's freezing cold outside, too. I'm talking about, I'm on the floor, I'm locked out, you hear me? But I hit a boom! Kind of like woke me up, like I'm like, what the fuck, I'm dreaming, you hear me? So, you know, when they come in, they they making all kind of search for them, we got that move, everybody on the ground. So that boy knew that, like, turn over, he like, man, smoke, chill out with all that noise, bro. I'm like, that ain't me, you hear me? Bloom, them bitches hit the door, you hear me? All I see is the flag, I'm looking up, I'm like, man, what the fuck, you hear me? That boy, like, get on the ground, and whatever. I'm looking at this thing, like, are you serious? I'm sleeping on the floor, you hear me? Like, you serious, my nigga? And so they uh turn me on my uh stomach, cuff me up, you hear me? They get that boy noon up, they cuff him up. Son is so funny. Like dog, I I'm not I wasn't I'm not laughing at her, I'm just laughing at how it happened. Like that boy mama opened the door. <laughs> she opened the door, she see all the white boy, boy, she slammed that bitch back and broke out, boy, you hear me? So they get that boy marks and all that. They sit us down at the table and they telling us, um, Listen, we already knew there's a drug house and all this shit. You hear me? They, they thinking we got all kind of shit in there, but all we did was sell weed. But they thinking we got all kind of shit in that picture. You hear me? Like, I really feel like it was them dudes that told, that put the people on us. I'm gonna tell y'all why, because I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all why. Let me finish this dude. But, uh, so they sit us down at the table and they telling us, if y'all, if you tell us where the drugs at, you hear me? Before we do our search, then only one person gotta go to jail who the drugs for. Just tell us, you know what I'm saying? 
for Marcus, a real nigga, take his neck. He like, look, I got a little half ounce by my bed, dog. That's for me. That's all y'all gonna find in this house. That's for me. Yeah, man. So them bitches cut the air conditioning off. You heard me? And listen, cause that's something for them dogs. When it when it's cold, cold, them dogs can't smell good. You heard me? They can't really smell like that. So like them bitches cut the air air conditioning off. They let it get a little warm in that bitch. So we sitting there for like a good 20 minutes or something like that. You hear me? They finally bring the dog and let him do his little search or whatever like that. They uh, so now they ain't got the weed or whatever the little half ounce that Morgan was talking about. The dog would have hidden that little fucking flower plant over there by the TV. You hear me? And like I don't know if y'all y'all know like uh, cause this round when Register was Register was popping and shit like that. So like we rolling guards and shit, we'll dump the dog guts in the through the seeds or the sticks or whatever in that little pot. You hear me? So the dog would have hidden on that. Man, why these people bust out some? Well, now see, I was trying to be cool with you guys, but y'all wasn't honest. And we like what you're talking about. We told y'all about the half ounce, you hear me? That's all y'all find. You're like, nah, this nigga dump all the seeds, the sticks, and shit, on, on stems and shit on the table. Push that shit together. And, and put that as weed. So all together, they were like, that's an ounce of weed. And this nigga split that bitch up into four, four of us. He gave all of us the same charges, you hear me? Split it up. Like, like you can see, all of us had a, a quarter or some shit, you hear me? I'm like, dog, this nigga serious, son. Took this man mama to jail and everything, son, I'm talking about, you hear me? Then, on top of that, they bunch us all up in the car. You, if you been in the back of a police car, you know what I'm talking about. You already gotta like sit sideways, just to, you know what I'm saying. It become you can't sit straight up. So we got four of us all in the back seat of the fucking police car, cuffed up, heavy on our back. This man, my man, everything, son. Man, my man, the robe and shit. So I'm in a tank top with them little like uh. Like like basketball shorts, like every, you know it's four in the morning, son. They ain't let them put on no clothes, nothing. Then what them bitches do? Like I'm telling you, freezing in the morning. What them bitches do? They roll a window down on us, dog. Tell me, grand ain't dirty, son. They roll a window down, son. I'm talking about it. Then they run fast, dog. That went killing us. It's so cool, yeah. And so, why I say I feel like dude, them the dudes had gave us, gave, put them people on us. Cause when we get to the police station and shit, <clears throat> like they get in this little room, like a little interview room or whatever, you hear me? They got a chalkboard, they got a diagram of the house and shit like that. Like what the fuck, they got the layout like of the house and shit like that. I'm like, man, what the fuck, you hear me? I know they wasn't on us like that, you hear me? But either them dudes put them people on us or, or they were just on us like that, I don't know. But you hear me? We, we, uh... We get in that bitch, and <laughs> it was funny as fuck. Cause we all trying to stay together, you hear me? On some shit, like not on no scary shit, but like, you know, nigga want juice with their partner. So, I remember they go to try and split us up, you hear me? Boy, that boy, uh, Marcus go first. No, Nuna went first. And he like, man, I'm scared. I wanna be, I gotta be with them or whatever like that. They like, we don't pick where you go or whatever. Boom, we find, he send them back. And uh, Marcus just called like he sent him with them. So that when that bitch tell me, man, tell them bitches you scared or whatever. Tell them you don't want to go nowhere else, you got to be with them. So I run that on them bitches. I'm like, man, I'm scared for my life, man. I need to be over there with them or whatever. You hear me? They happen to put me over there, you dig? But like, they got more to that shit, but that, this wasn't supposed to be in the story right now. The story was supposed to be about his death. So like I said, he was on Martin Luther King, you dig? And the niggas spin. And the niggas that they were really trying to kill, you know how that happened. And they ended up killing Nuno. And like I said, I thought he was gonna make it, son. Cause he, he, he got to the hospital and shit. But he just ain't pulled through, dog. You know what I'm saying? And that was my nigga, son. God rest in dead, son. Rest in peace, that nigga Nuno. Gary, you hear me? I, I really miss that dude, dog. Real talk, I miss that nigga, son. Miss that nigga, dog. That nigga was about them fucking hoes. <laughs> oh, real, that nigga. <laughs> he was about them hoes, dog. God rest the dead, son. That, that was the dead. That was the dead world. I lost a real nigga, you hear me? So rest in peace, knowing it. And uh, 
be tuned for the next story I come with you, dig? Culture.